Good afternoon, everybody. It's Hannah with Oil Life, and welcome to DIY Tuesday. Now, guys, this is a very special Tuesday because look what I have in my hands. This is the third edition of Such a Life book, you guys. We are so excited that we finally have it here to share with you. So this is in our Pleasant Grove store. We also do have them available online. They are shipping. All orders, all pre-orders started shipping last week. Um, and we should be caught up by the end of this week or next week. So make sure that you're placing your order for this book. It is gorgeous. Um, as you can see, it is a little bit different. So it has a green binding here instead of the light green that we had last time. It's a little bit darker and then the image has kind of shifted a little bit. It also does say third edition on the bottom so that you can tell which one you have. So not only does this make a gorgeous, gorgeous addition to any bookshelf, it also has a ton of reference material in here. Um, people have been asking us, you know, um, what is different in this book? We're actually going to be covering that at during Feature Friday in a couple of weeks. We'll have all of that information, but basically it's just updated from 2016 convention and there are a little bit of a couple of tweaks and whatnot. Um, so if you haven't, go ahead and order these. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I just can't get over that we have the third edition. It just makes me so happy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So today we're going to be making um, wild orange chocolate chip cookies. So I'm really excited because I love cookies. Um, there's a really easy way to make this gluten-free. You just use gluten-free flour and you're there. Um, but I'm really excited for this because this is one of my favorite recipes of all time. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I have done is you're going to want to preheat your oven to about 375 degrees. Um, if you have a convection, that's probably the best. If you have a conventional oven, probably about 400 would be best. Um, so we are going to go ahead and combine our sugar, eggs, and our, you can use shortening or butter, it depends. Um, into a bowl. What I've actually done is I've already kind of added all of the dry ingredients. So I have my flour, my sugar, my baking soda all in here. Um, and you can use a hand mixer. I prefer to just mix by myself or with like a spoon or a spatula just because I feel like I have more control over how mixed it gets, if that makes sense. Um, and you don't want to over mix this. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is I have my brown sugar that we still need to add. So you're gonna to wanna to add your sugar and it's stuck in here. So we're gonna go ahead and scoop it out here. So you're gonna go ahead and add your brown sugar. You wanna add your eggs as well. So we'll do that. And you're going to want to add your butter. So I'm just going to move these out here. Oh wait. And so you're going to add your butter. And then just mix it like normal. Oops. So. Now this is kind of so we're making it with wild orange, but honestly, you can kind of add any oil you want to. I've heard of people doing cassia and on guard, so they do about um, two drops of cassia, two drops of on guard. It really just depends on how flavored you want it. Um, some people have done peppermint. I just really enjoy the wild orange ones. I think it tastes delicious, and I think it's just super yummy. Anyway, so once you have this mixed, you are going to want to add your dry ingredients and your vanilla. So I've already added the flour um, and the baking soda, all of that. So we kind of did it backwards a little bit, but we, it accidentally ended up dumping in. So we're just gonna leave it. Um, but you do want to add all of your dry ingredients after that. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my vanilla because that's the only thing that didn't end up in the bowl. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and it's just one teaspoon of vanilla. And we will be posting this um, recipe in our newsletter as well as on our Facebook page. So if you are subscribed to our newsletter, good job. If you're not, go and do that because we have some really cool stuff that goes on in our newsletters. Um, also, if you haven't, go ahead and sign up for our Love Your Oil Life event. That is the 23rd of this month. That's our monthly party. 
We are really excited for this one. It's going to be all about emotions and addressing emotions using essential oils. So go ahead and check that out. Um, join, invite your friends, invite your family. It's going to be really cool. Um, you can attend at either one of our stores. So you can attend at the Mesa store or the Pleasant Grove store here. And you can also attend online. So that'll just be games. Um, giveaways will also be doing the educational classes. We'll be streaming those. Um, onto that event page and they will stay up after the event is over so that you can go back and look if you missed one of them That's totally fine. We'll be posting the schedule to that actually this week So keep your eyes posted for that and we cannot wait to share that with you That is next week on the 23rd. So Thursday from 4 p.m. To 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time um, So now that we're done with this I have all of my ingredients mixed in now you're gonna want to add your oil so you can do it two ways. You can add your oil before um, you add your dry ingredients when it's all still wet and stuff so it mixes in better or you can add it in now. It really doesn't matter. But I'm just going to go ahead and add about four drops um, and um, this is, so I just did wild orange. Like I said, you can do peppermint, you can do whatever you want really. Um, but I think that the wild orange just adds a really cool flavor to it, especially with the chocolate. Um, oh yeah, and then you're gonna wanna add your chocolate chips, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that um, really quick. And then just mix it, and then probably scoop these into just little balls. Um, and you can either roll it with your hands, or if you have the scoopers, those work awesome. And you're just gonna wanna scoop about um, it depends on how what size you're making them, but scoop them onto a greased um, cooking sheet, and you're gonna want to cook them for about eight to ten minutes. So while you're waiting, you can enjoy the wonderful smell that comes out of the oven because it really does. They smell amazing when they're cooking, um, and this is a really good way to introduce people to essential oils and just kind of like slip it in there, and be like, hey, by the way, did you like those cookies? Of course you did because they have essential oils in them. Let me teach you about, you know, the other ways to use essential oils. So it's just a really good kind of icebreaker a little bit. Um, but you can use them for anything. I just make them because sometimes I get hungry and I want to eat cookies. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I do it. <laughs> um, so that is the recipe. We'll be posting it on our Facebook page as well as in the newsletter. So in case you didn't catch all the measurements and stuff, which we didn't say, um, Stay posted for that, and we will see you on Friday for Future Friday. Thank you so much for joining us for DIY Tuesday, and we'll see you then.